Good day, good morning. I tell you, today is a historical moment. Every person standing in this very uh, lobby area, we realize that we are so close, the way I understand it, it is within votes of coming back to the floor of the Senate. I will tell you, I did a little homework when I came in. I didn't tell I didn't share this with you, and I'm gonna share just a little bit with you, but I served 26 years in the Senate, and it doesn't take long. I used I learned years ago how to count votes. The issue can be a good issue, but if you can't get the votes, it's not gonna go anywhere, or if you get the votes, it will. The momentum is with the passage of the Senate and House bill. I'm telling you, I've already talked to some of them. There was, there was just moments ago, uh, Senator Kent Williams just walked through, and he told me he was gonna support the personhood bill. He was gonna be an author of the bill. There were some questions whether he would or would not. He may get to come back downstairs, but Senator Williams told me a while ago that he is gonna support this very important piece of legislation. And that's a blessing, so when you see Senator Williams, I would thank him. I want to publicly thank Henry McMaster, the governor of this state, for publicly coming forward with biblical base and standing up for uh, those that cannot stand up for themselves. I also will tell you this, that we thank the lieutenant governor for his stance. He, I've known him for a number of years, and he has always taken the right stance. It's biblical based. It was good seeing Senator Cash earlier, who is a new member in the Senate, but he does not take a back seat. That man will absolutely fight the fight, and he'll show love and compassion, but he will fight the fight in helping um, pass meaningful legislation. Of course, Alan, we appreciate the fact our good friend Wilson was here. If he takes that stand, that's his stand, he won't back off. But I will tell you this, and I'll share it with you. Not only historical, this personhood, legislation, sanctity of life. Think about it biblically. Where do you find it in your Bible? I went into my Bible last night, Jeremiah 1.5. Before I formed thee in, in the belly, I knew you, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And that was through Jeremiah. I will tell you right now, it is sanctification. I will tell you it is a, a gift of God to have children. It's a gift of God to see grandchildren and neighbors with children. No greater being than seeing a mother or grandmother looking at a grandchild and thinking about an individual that aborts and that will never have that feeling of love and compassion and warmth. And so we have to pray. We have to pray over and over again I do. I can look in faces and see some prayer warriors. How many prayer warriors in this room today? Go ahead now, hold your hand up. Those that aren't in prayer, you need to pray for this legislation. I'll tell you what amazes me. Two minutes ago, my daughter walked up. Lisa, is she over there? Hold your hand up. Now, can you imagine this is my daughter, and she has three grandchildren with her husband, Mark. What a blessing from God. God gave my wife Pam and myself Lisa many years ago. Could we really afford as a young couple doing what we did? May not could have. But I can tell you all South Carolinians, all Americans walk with faith and not chance. We don't walk with chance. That's, that, that is no solution and there's no depth with the word chance. But having read this uh, scripture, and that is the scripture from God, we support the personhood pledge. We support 217 in the Senate, House 3530. We consistently, our votes in the South Carolina Senate, I always say if you do the right things or you go on record, you don't have to worry about what you did. I'm one of these old King Street First Baptist Church members that came 16 years, perfect attendance in Sunday school. You go through all these different areas, but the biggest thing we had were parents that believed in sitting down and reading the Bible, and they agreed, and, and we had six children, I have five other brothers and sisters, and I can tell you that we uh, would kneel down to pray at night, but we would understand the power of prayer. Anybody doesn't understand, the power of prayer will win this legislation. 
I'm not going to tell you it's a done deal, sir, because I heard a couple of negatives. I'll share them with you in private. But it, what it's all about is somebody, Satan loves to touch their hand. I'm one of those who like to put my hand in the Lord's hand, and I pray good things to happen, but it's by the Lord's time and the Lord's will what we say and what we do. You told me a testimony a lot of Senate and House members walked through earlier. They saw what was going on here. I can tell you, I remember this senator years ago, Vern Smith from Greenville. Senator Vern would have been a front row person passing hardcore this legislation. I do want to say this to you, though. You've got to ask the Senate and House members for their votes and their support. I understand you're within six, eight votes. I'm also going to tell you this, that they adjourn earlier now. They don't adjourn in June, they adjourn in May. That makes it tougher. And I'm going to tell you what we've got to do is we've got to contact, contact people like Senator Williams. There was a question not knowing what he was going to do. We now know what he's going to do. He's supposed to come back in a few minutes and we'll get you with him. But I will tell you this, you can't assume your Senate member is going to support you. And when you don't ask them, what they'll do is later say you should have asked me. Believe me, in the years we spent in the Senate, that was always the story. Two words, protect life. That's the whole issue, protecting life. I look at my daughter, I look at my son. She has three, has had, had three grandchildren for my wife and myself, but she's had them in a way that I'm hoping one day the same as she's done. She's been a good testament, a witness for the Lord. I'd like to see those grandchildren be a witness for the Lord, but the Lord has ordained what you're doing here today. You're not just showing up for a cause. You're showing up for the real thing. It's straight from God. And I also will tell you this last thing. I have a son that has three grandchildren. And my baby girl, she's been teaching college level English. And I said to her, I said, we need to get on the ball and have some children. And she laughed. And she called me about a month, two months ago and said she will be expecting sometime in April. So it's a God's blessing. But I'm telling you, you're here because of your children, grandchildren, and children yet to come. And I will tell you, I'm one of these fellows that, that I really believe that it is God's will on what we do and say. And those that don't understand that, they have got to get in a church somewhere, some uh, synagogue. They've got to get involved some way, some shape, somehow. And they've got to look to the Lord for strength. And that's what the day is about. I was not going to talk but one minute, but I got a little excited here in these speakers. But I enjoyed watching everybody's faces because you didn't have to come today. You took the time to come down. If other groups did the same thing, they could win. You can win this thing. Before you leave today, you need to go upstairs and find out yes or no. Are you with us or not? we got to come see you if you're not. we got to figure out how to get together. I see a lot of faces that have been in this state house or many a time, but to you, certainly to the offices of personhood, and certainly to all those all over the state, I've traveled everywhere, and the citizens are behind you. You need to hear that. The citizens of this state are behind you. And so what I'm going to do is say to you, we don't need to come up a month from now, or three months from now, and they bog this bill down on the calendar, because a lot of people love putting objections on bills, doesn't take so many in the Senate or House to do it. But I'm telling you, we don't need to come up a month and a half, two months from now. I'm going to help you. I found out this morning talking to one senator. He was quick to come to the table. He asked me where I was. I said, you know where we've always been. And he said, that's where I'm going to be. I'm telling you now, the Senate and House members, they're here because you put them here. They're elected officials. But this is a willing crowd in the Senate and House. If they're asked, I think you will see you will get their support. God bless you. Thank you for letting me be here today.